Pipe Drive has got a really great Xero integration, which helps you to manually create and view invoices straight from within your CRM. But if you want to take that one step further and automate that entire process, you can use Zapier to do that. So here's a demo to show you how. Let's take a look at how to create a contact and sales invoice in Xero when a deal stage is updated in Pipe Drive. So the first thing we'll have a look at is how to um, change our trigger step. And um, what we want to use for the trigger event is updated deal stage. And I'm going to map in the stage that I want this workflow to trigger off. And in this case, it's going to be invoiced. And the next step that we need to put in place is to split the person's name out. And the reason that we need to put that in is because the information that we get through in our trigger step um, is only the person's full name. So we'll need to split out the first name and the surname so that we can use that in the uh, contact creation step for zero. Um, you could do this two different ways. I'm using the Zapier formatter. So formatter by Zapier and our action event is going to be text. And I would customize that by putting in the split text option for transform and the person's name from the trigger step. Um, I don't need a separator because it defaults to the space between the two. And I want to retrieve all items so that we've got the first name and the surname. You could actually replace this particular step with a um, search for person in pipe drive. That's another option that will bring through the first name and the surname separately. And you could use the email address as the search term because that will be unique to that person. So we finished editing that one. Um, the next one that we would need to have in place is, um, again, similar to this step we need to separate the address lines so that we can add those uh, to the new contact. So we're going to use formatted by Zapier again, the same as the previous step, step which is uh, the text action event. And we wanna pull through the organization address, which is the, the full address. And in this case, we're going to use the separator as a comma and um, this space, um, code here so you can see these special code these here um, the default which we used in the previous step but we're going to use this with a comma and again we will use um, the se segment index as all so that we can retrieve um, all of the information so each line item as you can see here and then in our next step we want to have um, find or create contact in zero uh, now, there are two options here um, for creating the, the contact. So you could use create or update contact. But the reason I'm using find a contact plus um, adding in the uh, new details of the contact doesn't exist is because I, in this particular situation, I do not want to overwrite any details that are already in zero. So if I wanted to override the details with information from Pipedrive or whatever CRM I was using, I would use this create and update contact step. But for this uh, demo, we're just going to use the find contact uh, action event. And I'm going to customize it. Um, we're going to be using the demo company, um, UK demo company for, for this. Um, you would obviously uh, put in your organization and replace it with this. Uh, we're going to search by name and we're going to use the organization name from the trigger step, uh, which in this case is test company. And what I want to happen is if during that search that organization doesn't exist, I want a new contact to be created. So I've ticked, ticked this box here. So we've got our contact name as the organization name, and then we're mapping in our step two items where we separated out John uh, Smith's um, name into first name and surname. We'll use his uh, email address from the trigger step, his phone number from the trigger step, and uh, we're going to create a new postal address for this contact. And we're using our address split out into um, line items, city, town, postcode, and um, country, which is based on our splitting out um, step in number three. One thing to mention here is 
uh, you should bear in mind if you have addresses that have more than one line, you might want to separate out um, the extra lines into, into here, but you will have to take this into consideration um, as to how the line items split out. So consistency is important. Um, and that's it for our contact. So we've created our contact already. So this is how it would look. So this is our test company contact with John Smith as a primary person and everything else split out. And then we would go on to creating our sales invoice. So now you can actually go ahead and just skip this step if you don't want to pull through any um, address or contact information, but it will literally just pull through the, um, the organization name and nothing else. So I always add in the final create contact or um, create or update contact um, option. And then for our final step, we're going to create the sales invoice. So the action event we'll use is create sales invoice. And again, we are going to use the demo company um, as we have in the previous step. Our contact name is here. You could put in the email address. And um, this is mapped from our previous step. We're going to create a draft invoice. I want the invoice to be created with today's date. So I put in today and the due date, I would add um, whatever amount of time. So in this case, I'm going to put 14 days for my due date. So that would be plus the number of days with the space and then days. And you could put in weeks as well if you want. Then we would add in our uh, currency if we want to. Um, in this case, I'm adding in a branding theme and obviously everything else here you can customize as you feel to. This would be the invoice number. I just want zero to, to generate this automatically. And um, then we would put in our line items. And for the purpose of this particular demo, the deal that I have in Pipedrive is using products. You could just use total deal value if you wanted to. Uh, but one of the beauties of using Zapier is that you can actually use um, map in products from your deal if you're using products. So um, and it will create as individual line items. So you've got your description here, um, the quantity of the products and um, the item price for each one of those products. And also bear in mind that you could actually map in item codes if you wanted to, if you've got item codes set up in, in zero, um, which we won't cover in this particular demo. And uh, again, discounts from Pipedrive, mapping to our sales account and um, the tax rate that we've chosen. You could also add in tracking categories if you wanted to. So that's done. And this is what it would look like based on that step that we've configured. So that is all in all how to create a contact and a sales invoice in Xero when a stage is updated in Pipedrive. So if that's something that you can use within your business, all you have to do is head over to solver.co.uk forward slash templates to get a free copy of that workflow template. And if you want to simplify, connect and automate your business processes to save you tons and tons of time every single week, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you again next time. Work smarter, not harder.